according to the laws governing Agenda 2030 land development, any land deemed toxic, the government can seize it and kick everybody out and put people in 15 minute cities. This is all on the EPA website, by the way. And it's really weird that all of a sudden there's all these explosions in all these cities causing mass pollution. It's probably just a coincidence, I'm sure. But if it weren't, this sure makes a lot of sense. Okay, so the movie goes like this. The biggest drug cartels in the world get together and buy up all the media and all the politicians and force all the people in the world to stay locked in their homes. And people can only come out if they take the cartel's drugs and keep taking them over and over. I threw the script away. I mean, who is gonna believe that crazy idea? <laughs> that put all of us at risk. 
and continue to just think once we poison a community, it's just going to magically go away. We often find out five and ten years down the road after you were told it was safe. Oh, oops, Houston, we have a problem. There is actually a moment here with this community rising up, and you have been, that we can take a different turn, a different track, if you will, a better message, and start dealing with our environmental issues, start dealing with our failing infrastructure, start giving information to people so we can better protect our health. Oh, look, I was born and raised in Lawrence, Kansas. I feel like I am at home, and I mean that. And what I was brought up to believe, and what I know, and that I know you know, the greatest gifts we have, and we can have all the political argument you want, but for every one of us, it is our water, it is our land to grow our food, it is our health, and it is us and we, the people. Please be vigilant, hold your ground. We're gonna give you as much information as we can. And like I said, some of it you might not wanna hear, it might surprise you, it could scare you. But now you can know more, so you're prepared better, so you can plan better as we move forward. Because nobody, even us, is not gonna have every answer for you today. Know that you are in a long game. There's not going to be a short fix or a sweet answer. But the hope will be that this community, like I've seen others across this country over and over again, are going to stick together. You're going to band together. You're going to protect each other. You will be the citizen science. Nobody knows you better than you. You're going to hold to those instincts. You know what's happened, and you will continue to speak up and rise up. That's how things will change. So with that, I will be quiet for now, and I'm going to have Michael Watts come out. I, I, Michael Watts I've known for quite a few years. We've worked on the fires. Um, he's somebody that cares. He's awfully smart, but has about, did you say, 160 slides of information that he'd like to share with you tonight. So thank you for your time. I'm sorry about the lights. Sorry. The only way to deal with an unfree world is to become so absolutely free that your very existence is an act of rebellion. Bro, what the, f what is this? It's, it's like, it's like cream corn from the sky. What the hell is going on? Sweet baby Jesus brought us his cream corn. It's a damn malfunction in the weather machine. Come on, Mr. Musk. What is going on over here? It's chemtrail. So, I live like 40 miles west of this derailment. And it rained last night. Well, it turned to snow today, or whatever this might be. Anyways, I noticed these bubbles on my truck. It's not ice. Look at that. Whatever that shit is, is taking the clear coat right off my truck. Ohio. This is the aftermath of the cream corn chemical contamination catastrophe from Ohio. It's causing corrosion on the Corolla. My council is currently contacting the Biden administration and baby Jesus for compensation. Once again, would you move as I'm going to throw another rock right here? Would you stay here? Would you drink that water? Would you be affiliated with this? Would you bathe your kids when it's bubbling up and looking like an oil slick?
Hunter? Hunter? Are you talking about I'm Hunter? I'm talking about my son, Bo Biden. You're talking about I don't know. Peter. I don't know, Bo. I know Hunter. Yeah, Hunter, you know got thrown, Hunter got thrown out of the military. He was thrown out, dishonorably discharged. That's not true. He wasn't dishonorably. cocaine use. And he didn't have a job until you became vice president. And once you None became of that vice president, true. he made a fortune in Ukraine, in China, in Moscow. That is simply and various not other places. true. what it is uh, that makes a drag show family friendly because if you follow it to its logical conclusion you can slap family friendly titles on anything you can have family friendly gentlemen's clubs family friendly strip shows family friendly 50 shades of gray read alouds will you appro approve my flyer if i want to host in all the sex secrets of the kama sutra for kids and families if it's family friendly <laughs> that's my question wow. Wow. Uh, what is it about a grown man and i honestly sincerely as a woman mean this what is it about a grown man costumed in a sparkly bra with augmented boobs busting out a leather miniskirt barely covering his twerking ass with tuck tape on his front while spreading his fish netted legs as he writhes on the ground grinding his groin next to a minor Mm, Family no. friendly. Right. You owe us an answer. Mm -hmm. no. And you know, you don't get to hide by just taking something down off Peachtree and calling it a day. You owe an explanation right. and an apology to everyone. You all got caught with your starting panties down. And while we have a culture that has a massive problem with child porn, with sex trafficking, you, a little school district board of adults, made the decision to feature an event to hypersexualize young children. Do you want to know that the word that defines that? It's groomer. You all played the activist pimp for an aligned surgical center and for a 21 plus gay bar. It makes you groomers and activist pimps and we won't have those sitting on a school board who oversees the education of our children. You all stepped out of line you should be ashamed. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing loving. No. There's nothing. Let's unite and include. Because the logical conclusion of that is you end up in diabolical evil. There are boundaries. And you don't slap family-friendly titles on stuff to cover your ass.